Hello everyone, Pro Ace here. I'm going to talk about the uh, Dungeon Defenders Chromatic Games Fireside Chat this uh, last week on Friday where they announced the next game that they're going to be making. Uh, we had Philip here, um, the DDA project leading engineer, and Guillet, the executive producer. Guillet was in um, Europe, uh, Philip's in Florida, and so we listened to them talk about what the goal, plan, vision of the next game is. Um, overview, it's going to be a mobile game, um, because right here, mobile game is, mobile is the only platform that has no presence for Dungeon Defenders, and I did some more, like, looking around at just, like, PC gaming and, you know, revenue streams. P mobile is surpassing PC, so to not have any marker in that, no, any, anything in that, um, region is just a big loss of, you know, customers and income, right? So, the, it's going to focus on more on tower defense and less action R ARPG. Um, they mentioned more of like a top-down focus. It'll be on PC and mobile is the focus for its version one. Uh, console is not going to be ruled out, but it's not the direction and goal of launch. And it's going to be built on the Unreal Engine 5. Um, they're talking about the gameplay to have heroes, towers, maps, like other tower defense games. Um, th these are all top, you know, this is kind of like how we want to design it. Have heroes in the game, have towers, have mobs like orcs, goblins, gobos, anything that's in the franchise series is what I would think, but that could just be me um, sharing how I would build it if I were them. Um, they wanted to emphasize just having a nice, fun tower defense game and less of an action ARPG um, role-playing game because uh, everything with the Dungeon Defenders, you have your character and you go around in a 3D world to, you know, place down towers to beat the mobs from you know, hitting the crystals. Uh, hopefully... They have some type of interactions with how that works currently in the series, the the games, um, but I don't know how that's going to work out. They mentioned modding. They, they want to have a lot of player interaction with modding, and this mod IO, it does other games. I've never heard of it until this... Um, presentation on Friday so I looked it up I don't, I don't know anything about it except for you know I pulled up the, the website and looked at it but I don't know anything else about it how it works or how to use it or anything they wanted to have it where if you make a mod on PC you can play it on your mobile um, so I don't, that sounds cool I don't know uh, I think that if there's any type of modding, hopefully it's just like like a Mario Kart, create your own maps. Um, in Bloons, you have people who create challenges for each other, stuff like that. So, something along those lines. The community, they wanted to make sure that the community has always been involved. They want to have um, customer feedback throughout the development cycle. And they also want to deliver a solid 1.0. So they want to have like a, a bare bones system at the very beginning, but they want it to be solid with no guarantees. They don't want to over promise and under deliver. Um, and so they're, they want to keep it to a, a fun tower defense game. And during the Q&A, they emphasize that the other um, products will still be under development. Um, someone asked in the chat, why no action art, you know, RPG, tower defense? Um, they mentioned community likes, balloons, kingdom rush, and more focus on TD strategy. 
wide top-down view best fit for mobile platform and you know I I play both of these games both of these games are installed on my phone as long as with other ones you know when I'm playing when I go on a cruise or I don't have access to the internet I download the latest tower defense game because that's what I like to do and play so I completely understand where they're coming from on this they want to retain some of the 3D modeling from other games, so I don't know how that'll exactly work out. Um, Chat brought up monetization and how that work. They, you know, this is before anything. There, nothing's concrete. There's nothing set in stone yet. Um, they're going to review others in the market, and but they want to. They, you know, emphasis focusing on fun and you know delivering a good product. And then if you deliver a good product, money will come after. Someone asked about the core design pillars and they mentioned agile flow and community feedback. Um, that, that's how they wanted to build for this. Um, time frame, nothing concrete. They said something about the next three months to six months, they could have you know maybe a beta to play or something along that, but I, I wouldn't hold anything until it was just announced. Then another um, person brought up Twitch drops and it seemed like that was a uh, an idea light bulb moment they're like oh yeah that worked in other games we can't rule it out um, and talking about community feedback here's the link for it I'll uh, add that into the description below so this mod IO I can say that it looks popular like the snow runner has 230 million downloads 61 million downloads I don't I don't even I haven't even heard of these games but you know millions of downloads so it's a popular site and I don't know anything about it but here it is right some you know lower tier 40k which is still not bad um, and upwards of you know 250 million so that's definitely a wild user base so talking about um, money and getting into that market I looked at Bloons TD6 which is kind of the benchmark of phone apps and kind of the market that they're going in. Their lifetime revenue is over 50 million and this is according to appmagic.rocks and the last 30 days is a million dollars. In the last 30 days there's no data on it but lifetime it says 20,000 downloads and the, I don't think this includes Steam so this is just mobile apps possibly um, Android store and the Apple store um, not exactly certain all the details of app magic um, here's kind of like gameplay um, this is me playing um, Bloons TD6 with some twitch chat and it you know very simple you have towers on the right hand side you have a you know you can put your towers wherever but they all have different functionality um, you know this lady here um, is a hero you can't really tell the difference between a hero and a tower unless you actually know the game Kingdom Rush or Origins like I looked this one up as well um, lifetime is 5 million downloads is over a million so a lot of people play it um, and you know lifetime there's a lot of Chinese that will play it so I don't know like they could break into new markets and I think that'd be good for the you know the game and the, the company and sure go for it here's Kingdom Rush this is from global gaming um, this one looks like it has specific spots where you can place your towers this is very similar to other games that I've played like castle Def you know castle defense or castle armory um, you know I've never played Kingdom Rush Origins, so can't be specific, but it looks like you're blocking from these three entry points. Um, this looks very familiar to a lot of other games that I've played. This, so, and yeah, that's like a like a mob a boss. These are like Archer Towers. So, um, you know, this, this is just like the app magic.com for charts on. Why do this? TikTok makes a hundred million dollars, like in I think thirty days or something. Yeah, for the month it makes a hundred. You know, 
Honor Kings, Candy Crush, Royal Match, like PUBG, there's a lot of money in mobile games. So there's, if you're not in that market, that you're just kind of like shooting yourself in the foot, right? Um, you know, Bloons has a, a wiki on it that goes over all the th items on it. It's a pretty old game, December of 2018. 2018 is when it came out, so it's a five year old game. Um, but it's still played all the time. Then I went and got some numbers just from Steam to, to show kind of what the user base looks like, right? On Steam user base, it's 9,600 people are playing and 1,500 people are playing daily. Okay, compared to Dungeon Defenders, you have four, 500 people playing daily on Dungeon Defenders 1. Uh, Dungeon Defenders 2, 500. DDA, less than 100. It's playing on a daily basis right now. Another game I heard of was 2112TD. Um, it came out earlier this year. Yeah, January of this year is when it came out. And, you know, I, I've did some research on tower defenses, never even knew about this game. But, you know, it this one doesn't have hardly anyone playing it, right? 13 people, 10 people. Um, so that's my thoughts is I think this is a a good venture and depending on the pay structure uh, the quality of the game I'm not ruling myself out from playing it and I just kind of want to see where it's gonna go I think it'll be good for chromatic to make this leap to the mobile market and if they create a great game they'll do well and they'll have success and uh, that's my thoughts on things so you guys take care have a good one